What's up, awesome people of YouTube? Ignore what you're hearing in the background. I wanted to show you guys something awesome today. I have been to my local vape shop, and I have totally got the coolest tank I think I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the TFV8. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Look at this. Oh, it takes two breaths to get all the air out. It's a lot of vape. Oh my gosh, it's such a big cloud. But, um... I would show you guys the coil that is in here currently, but I'm sorry, it's mine. You can't have it. It's mine. Um, there is currently an octo coil inside this tank. Um, actually, I might be able to get it out. Hold on. See if I can get it off of here. I'll show you guys. This coil is insane. Oh my god, it's so insane. I do so, do also have the rest of the tank to show you guys, which is pretty cool because I've got the entire box sitting here next to me. Okay, this is the octo coil. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, there's so much in there. Um, but yeah, that's like pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, it's. I have good news about this tank and bad news about this tank. I do really, really, really love it. Um, but there is one big flaw due to the law that they have set for August 8th. Unfortunately, I will not get my clapses pre built for me. So I'm going to have to play with power drill and some wire. Um, if you're wondering, the lamp overhead, that thing, horrible, horrible lighting. So to do this video, we have brought in my floor lamp <laughs> out of my living room, which I think is going to permanently stay in the YouTube studio. Um, oh, good up, babes. Favorite, favorite, favorite kind of juice. Okay, and here's the box. This is the box the tank came in. See, look how awesome it is. It's awesome. Okay, we're going to open this bit up. Okay, see, and it's so shiny. They had to make the box all fancy. See, the box is actually cloth covered, so it is, of course, a fancy box to keep your fancy vape in. Well, just the tank part. Uh, the actual mod came in. I think the actual mod, since it is a smock brand as well, I think my mod actually has a uh, fancy box as well. Okay, we're going to open this up, and inside, we are missing a piece of paper. My kitten kind of took off with it, so we are missing a piece of the paper, but uh, here is the instruction booklet. It's a little long. If you like to read, go for it. I'm not a person to read. I'm sorry, I YouTube everything, so that's how it's going to go. Um, cotton for the RDA. Um, a gajillion gaskets. Oh my gosh, that is so many gaskets. Um, also we have Allen Wrench, which I already have this, I don't know why they sent me one, but I already have this, but okay, I guess I'll go with another one. Um, and then we also have replacement glass, because you know you're going to need this, because clumsy people like me drop their vape all the time. Um, we do also have the Octo, or not the Octo Coil, this is a Cloud Base Coil. I'm not going to try this bad boy out till the Octo Coils are burnt out. Because I'm saving this for a special occasion. Well, semi-special occasion. The special occasion one is going to be this RDA. Oh my gosh, wait till you see this. These coils are huge, too. Like, look at that. Like, the size of my thumb compared to that. Like, there's the end of my finger. It's bigger than my finger. But yeah, that is a ridiculous coil. These run about $7. 7 to $10 retail, depending on where you live. Um, I go to Vapors for You in Marion. Illinois, so I can get them for roughly about seven, eight dollars. Then we have that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I can't wait to try this bad boy out. There, is, like I said, there is one major downfall since it is Clapton's. I will have to hold on a second. Peanut, you can't eat cat food. Your dog. Weirdo. Um, but with the Clapton's, these have to be built. The only way to build these is you use a power drill and two sets of wire. Um, I need some dog repellent because my dog won't stay out of the freaking cat food. You're a dog. She needs to learn her species, man. Learn her species. Dog food, not cat food. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to use that. And I'm dropping stuff in the floor. Um... 
I have also been out doing some other stuff here the last few days. I did go to the doctor today. Um, I've been having some major weight issues, and I also have really nasty ADHD. So the combination of the two actually kind of came out for the better today. Um, my binge eating disorder kind of helped out with my ADHD disorder. So they put me on what they call Vivant, which is a uh, binge eating fixer upper type medicine. And then we also had, it also treats ADHD. So I kind of got a two for one out of that. Um, I took it this morning. I took it roughly about, I'd say, say about noonish. I ate one time today and it all came right back up. It was not staying down. So one time today I've ate, I've not felt hungry since. And I really need to make myself eat something because if not, I'm going to wake up in the morning wanting to stab my stomach. Um, there is a kitten above my head. <laughs> we have a giant cat tree that literally is sitting right next to the desk. Let's see, it goes pretty high up. There is a kitten up there. You can't really see. Oh, wait, there, wait, there he is. There he is. Okay. That is actually my friend Sheena's kitten. Um, she'll be in one of our future videos. But right now, she's kind of staying down on the download right now, so... You guys will eventually get to meet her. Um, Virginia, who you guys saw in my last video, which was the us being, I'm sorry, we got a little drunk and we decided, hey, let's tie the phone to the ceiling fan. Yeah, it was actually quite funny, especially since we were, <laughs> since we were mildly drunk and watching a phone spin around on a ceiling fan. Um, but we are hoping to do more videos with Virginia. She is super stoked to see that she got like 70 views in a matter of just a few hours. Um, we are still trying to reach first thousand subscribers. So if you guys are watching, please hit the subscribe button. Hit it. Because we love you. And we want you to watch more of our videos. Because the more subscribers, the more we're going to do. We just want to know what sticks. But as of right now, we are just kind of scrambling around. We just do anything you guys want us to. But, um, everybody told me I should totally review this tank. Look at that. That is one heck of a bad tank. Um, Jaden is wanting to do a taste test video. I have been trying so hard to order what she's wanting me to, but I've ordered it twice and they've got stuck in customs. So, right now, trying to do the Japanese candy taste test has been a little impossible. Um, I am hoping to get those into the U.S. eventually, but like I said, right now it has been extremely hard. So, you've probably seen us talk about it a thousand times in videos, but it's just we've been trying to do it. We just physically can't. Um, on top of that, uh, I did watch a really up-moving video today. Um... Sorry, I don't have bugs or anything. I just have really nasty dandruff because my hair, whenever I bleached it to do this cool pu purple color, I kind of fried my scalp. And right now it does not look purple. Every time I record a video, my hair looks blonde. It's not blonde, it's purple. But um, to do the unicorn hair, I had to do uh, three bleach treatments. We did blue, and we did a blue teal ombre let it fade out a little bit, and then we took and did the purple all over the top of it, and then let that fade out, and then it became like, so. I, my hair is literally like seven different colors right now, but you can't see it because it's so, so faint that in the camera it looks blonde. I want to do my roots, but I literally cannot pull that off again, so my roots are, yeah, really, really brown. So I'm going to let it grow out a little bit, then we'll go through and we'll torture the daylights out of my hair again and do this all over. But, yeah, that's the only reason I was scratching that one little spot. Sorry. Um, I have to brush my hair nonstop all day, so it gets kind of frustrating. Because with all of this being as fragile as it is, I have to constantly brush it, because if not, it gets really matted. Everybody, I'm not whacking my hair off. Sorry, but no, I'm not chopping it all off. I will tenderly take care of it instead of taking and chopping all of it off. Sorry, that's too much work. And I don't feel like looking like a dude. Sorry, if with short with short hair, I look like a guy. I ain't doing it. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Ah, oh, peanut. I told her she couldn't 
She couldn't kick me and slap me in the face. So we have this. She legit hit her face in a pillow because I told her to stop slapping people. My dog just got shamed on YouTube. Um, yeah, Jaden is wanting to do this candy taste test, and like I said, it has been near, near impossible. Um, me and her just got back from a two-hour walk from playing Pokemon Go. Didn't catch anything, which was weird. Like, we did not see a single Pokemon. We walked the entire park, like, for two hours. Um, we even activated a lucky egg and went around the park, like, six times. Both of us sweating to death. <laughs> Both of us on the verge of exhaustion, but yes, we walked around till we ended at the Lucky Egg, which was kind of cool because it bumped us up a little. It bu actually bumped us up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it's. I was wa like I said, I was watching a very uploaded video earlier that Boogie Two Nine Eighty Eight had posted. It was a really, really up moving video. Um, if I can find it, I'm gonna go ahead and. I'm going to try to find it one more time. I will go ahead and uh, upload it into the description so you guys can check that out. Um, what is it? Boogie2988, where did you go on my YouTube? You hid from me. He hired the lot. But, uh, yeah, he had a video, and it's a really, really, really cool video. It shows... How much, if you're a person who's overweight and you're actually looking for a big movement in your life to actually put some motivation in, this actually helps. But yeah, I'm going to look this video up and it will go ahead and post it back on my YouTube channel so that way you guys can go ahead and view that as well. Um, another thing, um, I have literally been working to death. I wake up, go to work, come home. <laughs> And I try to squeeze YouTube in, but here lately I have been so exhausted from sitting on the phones all day that I'm like, uh, I don't want to be in front of the computer anymore. I don't want to be in front of my phone. I don't want to be, well, then again, my phone's still glued to my face. Um, Mr. Squawker Button there could possibly tell you the exact same thing that I just said. I said I don't want to be in front of my phone, but I am. Um, another thing is, uh... <sighs> Oh, um, I want to tell you guys something. We have a really cool video that will be coming up in January. I can't wait to go. Um, we have booked a room at the Driscoll Hotel in Austin. Uh, the hotel is actually haunted. There is a really cool backstory across the room that we're actually going to stay in. Uh, the room is actually considered the most haunted room in the hotel. A lady had, her husband had, or her fiance dumped her literally like the day before the wedding said wedding's off screw it we're not doing it she said an ultimate revenge went and got the most expensive room in the most expensive hotel in the entire city five nights at it hey what the heck went and went to her room got everything all set up the way she wanted it and then went on a shopping spree she spent ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars if you are able to have $10,000 on a credit card, tell me. I want to know how you did it because, oh, I would love that lifestyle. But, uh, yeah, she had $10,000. She went and blew on a credit card. Then turned around, came back from, the, from her big old shopping spree, all her stuff hanging on her hands like, yeah, look at me. Went into the hotel room, ran a bath, got in the tub with a pillow after she grabbed a pistol out of the bags of stuff that she had just bought. Came in, went and got in the tub with a with pillow and just blew her brains out. To this day, people actually see her in the hallway, like, going in this room. Like, even in the middle of renovations, like, these two girls freaked out. And were like, oh my gosh, this girl's, like, in this part of the hotel. Yeah, they, they, it was a ghost. Pretty crazy. Um, they have these mirrors that actually you can see, like, it just, they reflect off of one another. They're endless mirrors. And you can occasionally see a woman in white walk through them. I really want to see that. Uh, we are actually going to take the cameras with us because I totally want to videotape this. If we see anything, I totally want to catch it on tape. Um, another thing is there was a little girl who fell down the stairs in the main lobby, broke her neck, and died um, because she was chasing a bouncy ball down the stairs. Who in the world was watching this kid? If you were watching this kid, why would you let her run down the stairs? But uh, apparently it happened. Um, what was it? The owner of the ho original owner of the hotel 
Uh, you can still smell cigar smoke as you're walking through the hotel of him like it's his spirit wandering around. There's a spirit of a old worker who died that you will see her, but she doesn't respond. If you respond to her, she just looks at you and walks away. Um, another one is there were two brides that died in room 527. I guess they were trying to go after room 427 after the crazy bride that blew her brains out. They went to the wrong room. Well, these two girls blew, these two girls killed themselves in this room. It's called the suicide bride room. And a guy did an EMP on it and apparently didn't find anything. So I'm like, no, we're going to room 427. I want to see the real haunted room. Um, there was one more. Um, I can't remember. Oh, there is another haunted hotel. I totally got to see. I have, I've been having like this major obsession with this one hotel here lately. Um, apparently we, you, Hyatt used to own a hotel in Kansas City. Um, it was the Hyatt Regency, Kansas City. Well, they had built these really cool like catwalks that were like suspended from the ceiling. Apparently they didn't do it right because they would forgot to put two little pieces of metal in the middle of the bars because they're blonde and apparently didn't think. Sir, you got to put the whole thing together because I'm sorry, it's not going to hold on there. It's just going to slide down. But uh, they did that. And this was back in 81 before I was just about six years before I was born. But uh, they had this tea dance and all these people were in the lobby. And like the sucker broke in the middle of the top one. And it hit the bottom one and it like smashed a whole bunch of people. Well, apparently Hyatt sold it over to Sheraton back in 2011. So now it's a Sheridan hotel. I don't care. It's haunted. And it's like probably the most haunted hotel in the entire world. Totally have to check that one out. Um, and that one's going to probably be way down the line. Uh, but yeah, there's several. Oh my gosh, several. And like people will be like, oh my gosh, the Driscoll's haunted. The Driscoll's haunted. I want to go to the Driscoll. I'm like, uh, I'm going to the Driscoll. So yeah, we actually bumped, booked uh, nights in... January for the 15th, 16th, and 17th. I can't wait to go on that trip because that's actually going to be pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm hoping to get a night vision GoPro because it would be really cool while we're asleep to actually catch some movement going around the room. Knowing me, <laughs> I love ghosts. I love them. They scare the crap out of me though. So my friend is going to probably laugh so hard is I'm trying to actually sleep and I'm still like got the blankets pulled up over my head. I'm going to probably freak out and be like, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can sense there's like somebody by me. It's going to be so freaky. I'm not, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to do it. It's going to be awesome. See, big claps, big claps. Um, I haven't done a video with Jade and Jakey here lately because they are getting ready to start school. They just got back from Chicago, so they've got enough going on. So <laughs> if you notice the video was, hey, every, hey, all my awesome people of YouTube, it was a, hey, what's up, stupid people. Jaden actually came up with that. That is her cue for her future channel. So since we haven't got her channel set up, uh, her future channel will actually be, what's up, stupid people? So right now it's kind of dwindling on my channel. Uh, I've been watching also a lot of McDurgan Nuggets and Kid Behind the Camera. I'm sorry, Pickle Boy, you're awesome. McDurgan Nuggets, you're awesome. Boogie, you're awesome. You guys are all three awesome. Like, I, I cannot get enough of how awesome you guys are. Um, Juggy does have film school behind him. So that's another reason why he's able to get so many views is because he's got a little bit of training behind him. I don't have that kind of training. Uh, right now, we're still in the process of tying phones to fans because we're that crazy. I did try to get, I have an angry grandpa. I actually do have an angry grandpa. Like, my grandpa is completely nuts. Phil, I just saw you with the camera. That was Phil <laughs> in his shorts in topless that was hilarious um but yeah it's i sit there and uh my grandpa i went over to his house and i took the gopro i took the gx pro with me and i said hey grandpa what you say hi to youtube 
He just said back, he goes, oh, hi. I was like, where's the rest of, what happened? Where's the funny part? I need you to rant and rage like you normally do. Like, normally you hear, damn it, Carol. Carol, damn it, da, 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 between the two of them. And then you hear my grandma go, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's exactly how she sounds. If I can ever get a recording of her voice doing that, I will totally post it on here. Because it is the funniest thing ever. Listen to my grandpa going, hey, Carol. And you hear my grandma go, what? So... Yeah, it, it's pretty funny watching the two of them. They have been married for so many years, so many years. My grandpa thinks the internet will eat his soul. <laughs> he thinks my vape is going to make my, my, my lungs fall out. And so they live a pretty closed lifestyle. <laughs> I have been trying to talk him into, my grandpa is driving a very old 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan. Well, we're one to talk. We're driving. My husband's driving a 2006 Dodge Ram, but that we tri we sold our 2014 Dodge Charger for. Makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I said I looked at my grandpa. I'm like, why do you have this old van? You need something that has a wheelchair lift. I keep telling you. So no, instead we have this old van with a little scooter attached to the butt of it. So I personally cannot stand riding in the thing. I hate it. So, it's funnier not get out trying to get my grandma in my little car because I drive a Honda Civic. I love my little Honda Civic. I love it with my I love it with all my heart. I would trade it in if I absolutely had to, but I'm not trading my car in to make people get in and out of it easier. Sorry, ain't happening. Hey, kitty cat. Wait a minute. Everybody, this is the professor. You've probably seen him in videos. This is the smartest cat you have ever seen. I'm bragging about it. You got bragging rights right there, buddy. He is super, super smart. Um, doesn't know how to fight, though. <laughs> he is, has escaped out of the house probably 200 times. He has got locked out of the house at least five or six times but can't defend himself to save his life. Um, instead, he has actually taken on the responsibility of playing mom to the two abandoned kittens that we found on our front porch that their mother herself actually abandoned on our front porch. She just dropped them there and walked off like, there you go, have these two kittens. Just here, take them. Well, now we are actually stuck with them. So, yeah, that is two kittens too many. So, we are actually finding homes for them. My gray one is going to my friend Sheena. Little black one goes to his new home on Thursday. So, I'm super stoked that they're both going to new homes. They're both great kittens. It's just that Gingy has had to play mom. And I think it's actually calmed him down quite a bit. And before, he was kind of a nut job. He just thought, oh my gosh, everything's a toy. Well, oh my gosh, everything's a toy kind of became, here kittens, look, everything's a toy. I'm going to just sit here and watch. Yeah, so that's that's how that project developed. Um, so, yeah, we have kittens running all up and down the cat tree. We have them. The little gray one likes trash which I'm really trying to break that habit because it has become a lot of a problem. But other than that, I'm actually starting to feel hungry now. I'm going to have to go eat something here in a minute. But, yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, that was my stomach. You guys probably heard my stomach growl. Um, what else? Oh, I totally went to the gym today and, like, ran. I mean, literally ran on the treadmill. Didn't even feel tired. It was like, uh, why am I running so much? And I, like, this girl looked over at me and she goes, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Why? She goes, you're running on an elliptical. I said, I'm full of energy. I'm kind of hyper right now. And she goes, I don't like you. Please go away. And I'm like, fine. And I'll go over to the bike. So I went over to the bike and just started, like, killing it. And then she's looking at me, she says, show off. 
like I'm not a show off lady. But yeah, you you gotta love judgmental people. I'm just looking at her like, yeah, you and your skinny self. Yeah, me and my I'm fat. Sorry, I'm exercising. Um Oh, I do need to I do need to bring up another topic. Um my stepdad recently had to have his uh leg amputated. He had a clot in his leg that kind of tore up some tissue and muscle and everything. Um I do have family who thinks that I don't care. People, it's not that I don't care. It's I literally live at my job. I work technically two jobs. I work for Hyatt, I work for YouTube. I'm sorry, but I can, I, I literally work, um, uh, 60 plus hours a week. It's like, I work 50 to 60 hours a week at Hyatt, and then the rest of it's YouTube, if I have the time to. Um, most of the time I come home and I'm just like, no, not today. But, uh, I'm gonna have to start getting on here and actually doing content for you guys, so I think it's gonna be more of a frequent thing. Uh, I wanted to do uh I wanted to do a, a series, but as of right now, it's a little out of my schedule. Um, if I was to do it in my schedule, it would just be complete chaos, and I would be recording at night, and that's just a too much, little too much work. Um, so we record during the evening in the YouTube studio, which this room itself has housed, I don't know how many people who've stayed with us. It's housed my husband's cousin, a friend of mine and his girlfriend, another friend of mine and his fiance, or his now wife, and now it's just, my husband's cousin literally just moved out of this room, that's why there's box springs right there, but uh, I'm going to use the box springs for something else if my husband doesn't put them on our bed. I'll probably just put them on, like put a backdrop down on them, use them for that. <sighs> but um, no, the box springs, he left here. Uh, but yeah, me and my husband both went to work, came back. Uh, he had told him, he says, whenever you're ready to move back to your parents, just let me know or go ahead and do whatever you want to. Came back home and everything was cleared out. I said, well, good. Uh, well, I got my studio. I was like, nobody is moving in this room anymore. If I can help it, that closet's coming out. I'm not going to wall into my bedroom. And that's just going to be an entryway from my bedroom. Then again, uh, I think that would be a little bit of a chore because my bed literally sits right there. Um... I really want to take them wide in my house. I really want to update my house. Currently inside the YouTube studio, my ceiling is leaking. It leaks, like, really bad. I would show you the damage, but we are about to get that fixed. The contractor who put our roof on didn't do it right, so our roof has been leaking still, and it apparently has rotted out in a few places. Um... If you ever go through uh, USDA to buy a house, don't let their contractors do your house. Please do not, for the love of God, do not. I would buy a house that's in good shape and then just do your own repairs if you can. But yeah, it's they are horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, it is now going to cost us a pretty good chunk of change to get a new roof put on the house. Um, I want to rip all the carpeting out. Replace all that with hardwood. Um, this house needs a lot of work. A lot of work. So, after we get it paid off, I'm thinking about remodeling it and then just selling it. Getting some, getting a little bit of equity out of it so that way I can at least get, um, on a bigger house. But, yeah, it's kind of nice having my own room now because this is like my own little getaway spot. My husband has claimed our room as, like, his getaway spot, so, like, the game system's in there, the TV's, he has his own TV in there. Uh, I have the living room as well, but I don't feel like, uh, being on the 55-inch TV. 
I'm sorry, I keep yawning. It's man, it's almost ten o'clock. Um, but yeah, my TV in my living room is not currently not hooked up to anything, and I need to get another HDMI cord. So as of right now, we don't have an HDMI cord for the laptop, but uh, I do occasionally go in there to just chill out, and hang out on the couch. But uh, I'm actually thinking about moving the fill your phone's ringing thinking about moving the 55 inch in here into the back bedroom for just using as a computer monitor um yeah I'm I'm wanting to take and set up an entire computer set over here in the corner and actually have like a big huge computer but um uh, I'm not going to be working from home other than YouTube my job can pertain to me working from home, but that's just a little too much drama to deal with. Um, they have asked me in the past if I wanted to work from home. Um, I was going to buy the monitors and everything. I was going to buy the mouse, keyboard, all that fun stuff. And actually sit here and work from home. But I like the social life of actually having somebody to talk to. <laughs> spill again. Um, I like having the social life of being actually around people. I don't think I could sit at home physically all day long and enjoy it, even though I really do love my big office chair. This is the most comfortable chair you have ever sat in. I love this chair. And, of course, it's my favorite color. Um, I'm not letting you in there. That's a closet. Um... But yeah, other than that, it's been pretty, pretty busy here lately. Um, oh, we did, today, I found this out in the middle of browsing through Facebook. There was a SWAT team literally like two blocks from my house, like, oh no, but yeah, two blocks down from my house It's pretty crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, like I could have got hurt. But, uh, luckily I was at the doctor's office and running around whenever all this happened, so. Peanuts! But that is cat food! Again, cat food! Meow, meow! Not woof, woof! These two, okay, guys, I do not starve my dogs. I do not starve them at all. They have eaten. They just love the delicious taste of cat food, apparently. Um. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's all for today. It's been a pretty crazy day today. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, don't forget. Keep it awesome. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to this video. Let us, think, let us know what you think. Also, give us ideas of what you want to see. We will go ahead and try to accommodate to everything. Um, I can't check. I can't do everything. I'm not a miracle worker, but I will try to work around with all the suggestions you guys have. Um, like I said, eventually, Candy Kit video will be done it's just as of right now doing the candy kit video is a little impossible since i can't get candy kits imported from japan um but yeah yeah just let me know what you guys think be more than happy to hear your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video share it with your friends let them like and subscribe to it too and don't forget keep it awesome guys